Good afternoon, Dark Horse Nation. This is uh, uh, this is the long-awaited ceasefire agreement that I would have gone uh, gone and posted uh, uh, at least a week ago at this point. But there were some, let's say, complications with that. You see, what had happened was um, there was this little uh, community, let's call it uh, Mods for Dummies, that used their platform, I don't know, of uh, hypothetically a uh, server with uh, 16,000 people to um, slander and attack my girlfriend. And I attempted to handle it privately. I attempted to handle it privately with the one of the let's say main orchestrators, and it went well. It went really well. It went it went really well. Uh, went really well. Um, you know, we agreed. You know, he would. Uh, t he said he would take down the shit that he said. He said he'd get the other guys to stop saying shit, and we would just go on, wash our hands of the situation. Uh, I think I'm gonna not make that part too. I think you've uh, explained a lot of things pretty well. I think, and yeah. I also think I don't. I don't want to take the stupid drama further. If you have to defend yourself with some of the private shit you've said to me, I, I really respect that you gave that trust to me, so I don't want to take it further. So I'm probably going to take the video down. I will, I will like, private the video. Great, and I'm like, okay, I told him I would post this this very announcement. I told him I would post a ceasefire announcement the next day and, and all that shit. And, you know, great, awesome, seemed great. And then he comes back two hours later and says that he, doesn't, he isn't going to do it anymore. And I tried to, I tried to, I tried to reason with him, I tried to bargain with him, everything. I, no, he didn't budge. I'm keeping it vague right now because I kind of want to save it for Monday, but I'm also just giving you the bare minimum so you know what's coming and they know what's coming. What's coming on Monday is a video I did not want to have to make. What's coming on Monday is a video that, um, has a bunch of private information in it that I'm now going to have to make public because people with an actual platform are misusing it to slander my relationship, um, and profiting off of it. So now I have to post some private information. Um, so that's what's coming on Monday. In addition to that, though, here's the terms of this little ceasefire uh, agreement that Ruben and I agreed to. Ruben and I obviously, like, already uh, weeks ago at this point, uh, you know, decided, oh, we're going to, like, you know, go forward just separately, whatever. We're not going to, like, say shit about each other. We both agreed on that. What had happened was I had put out uh, the, you know, public statement tweet before we had our talk, and it was in the middle of our conversation that I was editing the proof clips to post in tandem um, with that, that I was gonna, I was planning on putting up, like, that night. And it was after that that, you know, Ruben and I agreed, like, okay, we're gonna, like, go forward with this, but then, then I start getting all this, let's say, fan mail from his, uh, joyous supporters calling Tyler and I liars for not posting the proof and saying all this other horrible shit. So I told Ruben, I was like, hey, man, I kinda gotta post the proof for this thing I said, you know? If, if, if neither of us are gonna take down our shit, then I kinda gotta post the proof here, because you guys are calling me liars. So I did, I posted the proof, um, but, if you've noticed, one out of three, I mean, blah, 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 one out of four of those is down, the third one. Why? Well, that's because the third one had actually factually incorrect information that I'm here to correct. In the third one, I played a clip of Ruben sexually harassing my girlfriend from just nights prior at that point. It goes a little something like this. Bro, oh, I need to grow up, dude. Your girlfriend's fucking rubbing her clit to Five Nights at Freddy's and you think I need to grow what up? What the fuck? In the clip, though, you see, I falsely claimed that Tyler was 17 in the... Uh, well, in the, in the art that he's talking about. He's referencing a specific drawing that she made, and I said that he's talking about a 17-year-old. I assume that because the overwhelming majority of the art that was surfaced from those accounts is from when she was a 17-year-old. But this one actually turned out to be from when she had turned 18. So, I took it down. And I'm here to correct the record. Ruben did not sexually harass a minor, okay? He just sexually harassed an adult. All right, so just make sure, if anybody's out there saying, Ruben sexually harassed this person, I want everybody to be like, no. They weren't a minor, but yeah, he did that. Yeah, um, in addition to that, I will say, and this wasn't even something that Ruben or Mods or Dummies or anybody fucking demanded. This wasn't anything that they demanded. I'm just seeing this shit and I'm telling you right now, we're putting a permanent moratorium on people drawing Ruben as a furry and shit. Like, none of this stuff is like NSFW. It's just weird and I don't like it. And I'm telling you, if people did that of me, I wouldn't like it. So I don't want people doing that of another content creator whom I disagree with. You know, that makes us look really bad. So please stop it. I'm just going to start moderating that shit. Yeah. Big Brother is watching. Okay. So yeah. Um, video going over shit on Monday. Pure drama slop. It's long as well. So prepare for that. Um, yeah. And, uh, working on some other stuff. Got some other stuff in the works. Some very exciting, promising, epic, and cool stuff. But this is my, like, Mr. Gorbachev tear down this wall post. Okay. We're, we're ending the beef here at least with reuben i'm not done with you little twerps and mfd uh you'll you'll see that but uh yeah all right hugs and kisses that's it